before I start this video, please ignore my hair, whatever this is going up here. I did have my hair out today and it was lovely and curled this morning. And then I went to the beach and I pretty much stayed the whole day at the beach, you know, just walking around, doing some shopping. So it has got to my hair and it's all tangly and all stringy and nasty now. So I've just kind of tossed it up and I don't even think I'd classify this as a bun. Like, I, don't, I think there's an elastic in there somewhere. But anyway, um, today's video is going to be a haul video. It's I usually end up just taking photos of things that I buy and I'll put it on Instagram. But I thought I'd do one since I have bought a fair few things over the last month or so. And some of these things you probably would have seen in um, tutorials and some of them you may not have. So without further ado, let's get started and I've just kind of put everything in no particular order. So the first things that I did put on Instagram was the Vitamin E Gentle Facial Wash I bought. The little face scrubby brush, which I found. I found this this morning. I'm like, yes, finally found it. Bought this one and then lost it two days after I bought it. Got my vitamin E eye cream. And you would have seen all these in my updated skincare routine, which I will link in the butt by if you haven't seen it already. But I bought these from the body shop and I absolutely love them. I did mention in my last video that I bought the vitamin E one because I've got like wind burn or something going on in my eyelid. And it's just like right in the inner corners. It's really dry and occasionally it'll go really red and a little bit like swollen. And I think it's just from the wind wind and the like because I'm going from air conditioner all the time where I work I just think my skin's reacting to that but it's like right on my eyelids so I haven't really been able to wear too much eyeshadow but I've been using the eye cream and it has helped it a bit and I love this brush it's four dollars and I'd recommend it to absolutely everyone it's the most amazing thing just put your facial wash on it and you just do circular motions and you can get rid of all excess makeup all any dirt on your face and it just makes it feel like squeaky clean. Like you could probably rub it and be like. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. Um, next thing I bought is this headband. And I went to my favorite shop of all time, which is actually this really cool vintage retro op shop. And when I say op shop, this shop has really good quality um, secondhand things. All I have brand new things from little boutiques all over. Just kind of collects all kind of assorted bits and pieces and I absolutely love it. It's my favourite store ever. And I bought this headband from it today. It's like a dusty, pinky colour flower headband and I thought this was the cutest thing. It's got little pearls in the flowers and I love headbands. I want to get into more hair accessories. So if you have any um, online hair accessory store that you like to go on to, please um, let me know in the comments below because I do want to get more into like big flowers and all that stuff because I do love my hair accessories. So I went to Price Attack about a month and a half ago and I know some of you have probably seen this in my um, Melbourne Sydney haul because I bought it before I went to Melbourne and Sydney. It's the Redken Deep Conditioner All Soft and I absolutely love it. It's the most amazing deep conditioner I have ever used. And so I went back to Price Attack about a month and a half ago and I wanted to try the conditioner and shampoo that they had and they actually had a thing where you could buy both for $30 which is really good because I think this one was like $20 on its own and this one was like $23 so it worked out cheaper. I don't use these every single time I wash my hair. I go, um, I use kind of different shampoos every now and again, otherwise my hair gets too used to it. But these do leave my hair feeling amazingly soft. I do notice I have to wash my hair more frequently when I use these because it'll get oilier quicker. They smell okay, they're not like a fruity scent, they're just kind of like a normal shampoo kind of scent. But they do leave my hair feeling lovely and manageable, which is always a good thing and nice and shiny. thing I did put on Instagram, I feel like this whole video is just going to be a plug for my Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram, Cassandra Michelle. <laughs> I really do post everything on my Instagram. bought the Colour Tattoo um, by Maybelline 24 Hour Stay Eyeshadow and it's I got the gold one. It doesn't actually say the name of the colour, I don't think. Oh, Bold Gold. And I've heard a few positive things about this, so I wanted to try them out. So I got the gold one, and it kind of comes out as a cream, and then you can like blend it in. And it's a beautiful eyeshadow base. I really like this gold colour. I want to try and get the purple one, and maybe a different colour one as well, because they are nice as like a base, and to put like other eyeshadows on top of them. For my Eye Studio Maybelline um, gel liners, and I've got it in eggplant and charcoal so this one's black this one's like a deep purpley color like this which you probably can't see from that distance just a deep purple and this is like the blackest black you've probably seen these ones in a few tutorials already and i really do like these come with your own little brush but i like using my own angled brush with them 
But yeah, I went on a little makeup spree. And when I bought these, I also got the um, Baby Lips by Maybelline color in Cherry Kiss. To be completely honest, I don't find the Baby Lips um, moisturize my lips at all. I find they leave my lips feeling dehydrated, if anything. They feel really bland and like they need to put more moisture, like they're drying out. Does anyone else have that feeling when they put Baby Lips lip balm on? They just feel really oily and dry. They feel like they need moisturizing as soon as you put it on because it kind of like sucks all the moisture out. I don't use this one very often at all. I think I used it once and then I'm like, not, don't like the feel of it. Let me know in the comments down below if you have the same feeling. I know a lot of people love baby lips. I can't stand it on my lips. I prefer Pawpaw or Bliss Tex or any of those kind of lip balms, but I don't like the baby lips. Not too long ago, I did go to Colette and I love going to Colette. They have so many cool bags and accessories and I bought a new purse and this is a huge purse, but then it fits nicely inside my handbag because my handbag's about that big and my purse broke. So I use this as a purse, but then when I go out, I can also use it as a clutch, but I thought it was really cute and Beetlejuice like. So I loved it as soon as I got it. And then you just kind of flip that to open it, which is cool because I can fit more stuff in it. If I use a zip, they always break because I have so many coins I always put in my purse. And then it's got your little compartments, which we're not gonna go through on camera, but I've just, you know, got my coins in one, notes in the other, cards in the other, and my Zarafa's card in the other. Love Zarafa's coffee, it's amazing. So I actually bought more makeup. I bought three lipsticks, um, I think this is about a month and a half ago, possibly verging on two months ago. I bought um, these three here. I bought this one by Maybelline, and it's in pink and proper. It's like a light pink pearly colour. It's quite pretty. I do like how the Maybelline lipsticks go on. I found they're nice and creamy and they don't feel like they're drying my lips out like some lipsticks sometimes do. I got the Made For Me Intense lipstick and this one's by L'Oreal and it says it's for dark blondes but I love the colour. I think it's beautiful. It's in Burning Rose and it's got a bit of a shimmer to it. Oh, it's a really pretty um, burning rose, I guess, colour. So lovely. And this one also goes on very nice and moisturising, nice and creamy. Lipstick, I was actually debating. I was tossing up whether to get it or not. And it's called Vivid Rose Colour Sensations by Maybelline. And it's the brightest, brightest pink lipstick ever. It's lovely and moisturising on, but it is very bright and I don't think the colour suits me at all. But I like to mix this one with a few other ones. Um, but I did buy it for a bit of fun, a bit of pop of colour. I went to Maya, I think it was about a month ago now. And Kelvin Klein Forbidden Euphoria is probably my favourite perfume ever. It's just amazing beyond belief. Let me know in the comments down below what's your favourite perfume. And if you've ever tried this one, what are your thoughts on it? I absolutely love it. There's really no way to describe this smell. You have to go and smell this one. It's just like a mix of sassy and flirty and sexy all in one. It's amazing. I love it. And they were having a big sale. I love it when Maya has a sale. And this one is the, I think it's the 100 mil. Yeah, it's the 100ml one, and this one is usually 135 This one was $60 on sale, so I'm like, yes, I'll take that. Love it, and you can probably see how much I've used. It's like up to here when it stops wiggling. I've used that, that much of it already, but I love this perfume. It's my favourite perfume of all time. These are some stuff I bought today. I went to the beach today, and I had the most amazing time. I went into this other shop that I really love, and I haven't been in it for ages. I can't even remember the name of it, but it's the places where they usually... Um, but it's the, it, they usually burn like a candle and they have like all the, um, they have like little tribal drums in there. They always have like little bead things and like little, um, sarongs. I had these gem bracelets. Four for ten dollars, but they had 50% off everything, so it was four for five dollars. I got this dark blue one. I've got two of the dark blue ones that I bought. I thought they were really cute and pretty. They've just made out of little gemstones. And then I bought this kind of greeny colour. And this one here, which has a bit of purple, a bit of clear, and a bit of the greeny one mixed in. And they're all really pretty. And I thought they were really cute. And then I walked by the most amazing ring. It was like in one of those little display cases with a bunch of other amazing rings. 
And it's got four light blue topaz stones, so it matches my promise ring. So I wear my promise ring on this finger, and then I'll wear this one on the other one, and they kind of match. So beautiful. It's got like little stones in between them that make it shine when it goes in the light, and it's beautiful and this is the first piece of real jewelry that I've gone out and bought for myself usually if I get real jewelry I'll get it for my birthday for Christmas or for a gift from someone I've never actually gone out and bought my own like really real jewelry if I go out and buy my own jewelry I usually get like junk jewelry like the you know cool blinged up earrings and stuff fun jewelry but this is the first actual like real real jewelry I've bought and I love it and it's such a good feeling to go and buy yourself some really pretty jewelry so I also went to a tea shop today, if you've ever heard of the Silver Spoon, most amazing tea shop on the planet, I love it, I've been there once before three years ago with Juanita and it was amazing. I there today and I did post a photo on Instagram of what we got. I there today and I got the most beautiful iced tea, it was a taste of the Caribbeans and it had like strawberries, it had a bit of orange and a mint leaf sticking out of it and Tom was with me and he got this really cool mocha and that tasted delicious as well. I loved it so much that I went up to the lady I'm like, what's it made out of? Can I buy it? And so she was telling me it's a combination of two different teas that they just kind of put together. It's got pina colada tea. You like pina colada? I'm getting caught in the rain. It's like a tropical holiday. So this one's got like rose, hip, apple, pineapple and coconut in it. It sounds divine. So she said she puts half of this in and then she put half of this one which is lime and coconut green tea. And so she lets these brew for about three minutes. Apparently you're not allowed to let um, green tea brew too much because it'll go bitter. I don't know, I've never really cooked green tea before, or brewed green tea. I always just do coffee, but it tasted so good. If you have any hints or tricks on how to make green tea like this, please leave a comment down below helping me out. Apparently after it's brewed, you um, put it in a jug or glass and put it in the fridge overnight. Put some ice in it, put like a strawberry, a piece of lemon or a piece of um, orange. Hopefully it'll taste the same as what um, theirs did, but I'm really looking forward to using this. But I need to go buy myself a little teapot and, and an infuser because that's what she said I needed. I don't even know what an infuser is. This should be fun to try out and also today this is another fun thing I went and bought some of you are probably gonna look at this and go no no yes yes I bought pimp glasses so they're on a chain and you put them on and I know these are the most ridiculous glasses I do not suit glasses to start with but these ones made my face look even worse the glasses not so much on but I thought I'd make like a cool you know statement necklace if I was wearing some pimping outfit that's right I said pimping and getting on to the clothes side of things I did go out and buy this new skirt which you've probably seen in my video that I can't remember what the name is but I'll link it down below Breakup makeup, that was it. The one where if you're crying, makeup to make it look like you haven't been crying. I bought this skirt here and it's so beautiful and it's really complimentary as well because, I don't know, the bow goes around your waist and kind of cinches it in a bit. I bought this bow skirt, it's the prettiest colour. I got this from Tempt and I think it was about $20. It's got this little uh, underskirt thing. This is probably the worst way to show, but it's got this little tulle underskirt which is really cute which makes it puff out a little bit it's really gorgeous and the color is stunning i also got this top that i'm wearing here from the same store this was five dollars um i don't know if you can tell but it's like this emerald green color which is really beautiful and i bought these jeans these are the comfiest jeans ever they kind of sit on your hips and you can tuck your shirt onto them and they're this washed out color and they can go all the way to your ankle and then they've got like this elastic, so I usually push them up to my calf, so it cuts off there and you know, it bunches over, and they're so cute on. They look amazing if you've got like black heels, they can dress up the jeans and they look really cute. They're real kind of 80s style, which I love about them. And these are from Sports Girl, and I think when I bought them, they were about... $80, $89, something like that, which is the most expensive pair of jeans I buy since I actually, I think I only own one other pair of jeans, which are $14 from Valley Girl. And the final item of clothing I bought today at my favourite little op shop that I was talking about. This dress right here, and it's kind of hard to see it, 
but basically I'll try and show you with it against my dark top so you can see what it looks like. It's got your straps but then it's got these two straps that kind of go down the front and these straps are a little bit big but I can easily just take them in a little bit. That can be easily adjusted but it's got this cool little um, pattern on it and then it kind of goes in at the waist and then flares out and it's not too short it's about I think when I stand up about the middle of my thigh so it's just that really flattering length. It's just got these little buttons and it's just kind of it's cool, it is more of a heavy material, so unfortunately it won't be too good to wear this in summer because it does get so hot. But depending on the weather, this can be a really cute little picnic dress. The last thing I have, which was still in its bag because I haven't had a chance to use it, is this handbag here, which is from Forever New. Really pretty. I think this would be more of a, you know, fancy dinner kind of handbag or fun girls night out. It's kind of like a cream colour with gold, um buckles and zip and this thingy and it's got this fake fur on the front which is really fun to pat because it's so soft it's just really pretty this handbag it was only about $49 when I bought it and it comes with this strap so you can have it like around your shoulder but I don't think I'll ever use this strap I think I'll just use it like a handbag do open it it is quite big inside you can probably fit a fair amount in there and then it's got you know your little pocket here, phone pocket, lip gloss pocket, well that's what I like to use these little side pockets for. So hopefully sometime soon I'll have an outfit that'll go with this bag because I really want to try it out and it is really pretty, it's got that new bag smell to it. Hmm. Concludes my whole video, please um, thumbs it up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe for free updates. Don't forget to leave comments down below and I'll see you in my next video and I hope everyone has a great night slash morning slash follow me on Instagram. This video is such a plug for my Instagram but <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Bye!